those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the above, they go down to the above. Hi. Okay, this is an introduction video to uh, the build of the sock with, uh, sock with, I always say that, I've got sock with in my head, um, the Bristol Scout C, one six scale, I'm too proud of that one, uh, so I have a pan over there, the plans I got from Summit Hobbies, Model World, see as you can see it's all there, right, <coughs> um, so like I say, introduction video, uh, um, basically what it's about is this, is this is a build straight from the plans, there's no kit with it, there's no pre-pack uh, of wood or anything like that. So it really is, I decided I thought I'd do one of these videos uh, to show that um, how it's done from a plan. Uh, and basically if he's panned down, you can see whatever wood you've got. I've had to order some wood in as usual from Sleck. Uh, the bolts of Sleck are great, you know, so you get all your wood from there, it's brilliant. Uh, so we'll do that for the wings and stuff. So, right, so just an introductory, you look at the plans, you've got this set of plans there with the fuse, the tail plane and so forth, and then you've got your wings. Uh, on this particular plane, it, the wings are very small compared to what I usually do, but it is one six scale, so you ascertain what you've got on the plans, first of all, you look at what you've got to do, like the ribs, uh, this is the sheeting for the fuse, the sides and the top, things like that. Read what you can, but I don't try and take it all in at once because unless you're a miracle worker or got a photographic memory, take one sec. I always, I'm only going by what I say. Take one section at a time and work on it. So if we go back, if I get an air sick, pardon the pun, I start on the fuse. The thing to do with the plants, I do with the plants is because uh, what I normally do is is that you've got to draw out on the wood or on paper to make templates or card. You use your carbon paper. That's what I use. It's a godsend for me, right? And, you, and I've shown in previous videos. You slide it underneath the what you're going to print on. It just basically copies out onto the wood or onto the paper or the template, what you want. And then before you do that, you won't see it on the video. I think, but things you're going to copy, such as here, where you've got your fuse plates, you, you sellotape. I sellotape everything. I sellotape all where the formers. Are. All these have got to be drawn out. Uh, you know, and cut to size and shape. Um, and so you sellotape it all purely because when you run the pencil over it or the marker, it doesn't cut through the paper and ruin the plan. That's basically it, really. Um, and so you see, it's all sellotape for the formers. And uh, what I normally do is I'll, I'll, I'll go around everything, uh, cut it all out. So you basically make yourself a kit before you start, as if right, you bought a box of it, you know, a box kit, and get as many as you can get cut. Okay, uh, and what I'll do with this video is I'll uh, try and do this one as step by step as possible. Uh, I know I've put a lot of videos on first, but you've got to appreciate I only start my YouTube channel and I've got 680 videos that I put on Facebook and I'm going to put them as many as them I can on. So if I overload the channel, at least you've got a lot to look at and you never get bored, so they say. Okay, and you can pick from what you want to look in case there's a particular plane you're going to build. Okay, anyway, that's it for the introduction. Um, if I can think of anything else, the next stage will be I'm going to make a start on the fuse, combine a bit of the fuse, because this piece here, because I'm going to make... Oh, another thing I will say is the plans are only a guide, okay? If you want, you can follow the plan by means, but I'm not going to follow the plan to exact, because A, it was made in 1984, and there's different things, and I like to put servos in each wing, to operate the um, ailerons and stuff like that. So there's different ways of doing it. And plus these are very thin wings, you can see. So all this will come in future videos. Okay, so that's the basic of the interview. Okay, hope you enjoy the build as I go through it. Uh, and I hope it helps people if they uh, want to go for it. Okay. Uh, hiya. Okay, we're on the bit now of the fuse where we're making the front end of the fuse. And because it's not nothing much on the plan, uh, I'm going to try and take you through it the way I'm doing it because obviously it's a bit different from what the plan says. So if we pan over to the thing, this is how it's going to turn out in the end. Okay, but to get there, it takes a bit of pieces. Right, so to get that, what we do is we look at the plan here and you, you know where you're going to put your wood up to. So this bit's called the oil, I use nickname this the oil rig. Right, so this bit is the main front bit. So you find your piece, so this is five, six mil thick balsa. 
Okay, and you, you basically line it's a true edge there, so you line it up. You basically line it up to the top, so you're following it all around, and then you mark. I mean, this is obviously a scrap, I've done it. You look, you've already marked there where your your, your longer runs are going to go, so you mark that onto your piece of wood there. You basically line it all up. Unless, obviously, you mark your front there where you're going to cut it straight. Get a set square, cut down that. Once you've got all that right, and you cut out your groove for there, so you the width of your longer run. And obviously at the bottom here, you've got the same problem here. Once you've cut this, so imagine that's now cut to size, which that one is obviously because I've used it. But you have this bit out here, then you mark it down here on the wood. So if you turn it around, you move it back up and you see well that's where the edge is going to be. And you've got your you've got your cut out for your wing, which should be there. You see, and then that way, once you've got it all in line and true, you draw a straight line from the mark there, which is there, see. So. And you draw with a ruler. I know this is quick, but you'll see what I mean. You ruin it. And you, this is just rough. So you got your, and you cut this out. Once you've cut that out, you then get your ring. Your ring, like on the previous video, you got your wing rib tip, your, your template for your wing rib. Because that must go in the right place. Okay, but once you've got that in the right place, you use the picture. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either this will come in handy, so this might be the easier way actually thinking about it. Because I'm used to doing it, that's why. So, you, do, you put your bit of tracing paper down, or greaseproof paper, this will do. Put and tape it down to the plan or pin it. And then draw it all out with a ruler, so you've got it all in the right place, exactly where all these are. And obviously you draw out the wing rib, where it's meant to be situated in the fuse. That way you see, once you've got that, and you put it back on top of your plate, your piece of wood, you've got it all true, which you need. And I might add a little trick because it's greaseproof paper. And you're doing it. What's this little trick? Do that, see? Just do it rough. So just to show you. And that's because we used it once. So you can know, do it with carbon, but if you just get an imprint on it, uh, it's just to get a rough idea where it is. Same with that there. Press down on it. Should work, look. So you get see down the marks. So you press down on it, you get the marks there. That's to give you a guide, which we'll come to in a minute. All right, so you've got them, because you need these in here. For this, the way I'm doing it is I'm going to put wire bars in to support this, the cabanes. So obviously, you then you draw your, you draw your line in, like so. This is rough, to make sure it's all true to the plan. That's what I've done there. Okay, so you see it's there. I know the reason you've got the tracing paper is, so we'll get rid of all this now. The reason you've got a tracing paper is you've got to do exactly the opposite. So you just turn it around, mirror image, and you do exactly the same on your other piece that you've got. Okay. Then the next thing you do is, is you've got to put your inner support, your strengthening. This is just a piece of four mil bolster strip goes in. So, so that gives you room to put your little plates on and stuff like that for your servo tray and etc. etc. Okay, so you've done that. And once you've got you just wipe PVA that down. And then here's one I made earlier. So it'll be like that. You've got your line where you want it. In there. And then you simply, just quickly, you get a sharp blade. I'll come to them in a sec. I did want it. And you just go down it. Like I said before in the previous video, gently cut the line first. Right here. Make sure it's true. And then just bridge it. Piece of scrap and then you just go around the inside of the wing. But first, just use it lightly to track it. Once you've tracked it, the blade will follow itself. See? Yeah, it's still going. Chop out that bit. Right. And then you always sand it if you need to, but that, that's your inner bit. Now, that's that main structure. Then, what I would suggest before you do anything else is, but obviously, I'm jumping it with a video. Before you put the bars in, which we'll come to in the next bit, this is where you then put your cling film over the uh, plan, because this is when you're going to start making your uh, doodars, your longer runs. Okay, but we'll come to that in a minute. Come to that in the next video. Ian. So, whilst we're doing this, you've got the, this plan. I believe you're using solid wood just to, as the cabane struts. And I thought about that and thought, well, you know, I've, I'm used to doing it the old-fashioned old way with metal bars in the middle to give it strength. You know, so here we are. A set of metal bars. This is just 16G piano wire. 
Well, any way you can get really, but that'll do it, it's nice and strong. Okay, now you've got to get these angles. So you just basically, what I've done is, is that it's due to the angle there. So to order to get this, you've got to make four, unfortunately. So I did keep a spare bit just to demonstrate. So we'll just imagine this is the bit. You obviously measure it up, mark it with a permanent marker, which is a good point. Really. You get your permanent marker and you mark it in the bend position first there. Do this bit first, not that bit. Okay, you do the bottom bit, it sits inside the fuse. And you basically you got that, and then you go to your magic vise. Okay, so we've got a permanent marker. Okay, so we'll just pick a place. You've, me you've measured it on the plan where you want it. Because obviously you're doing this off your eye. And then the thing is with this, this is a bit of where, after you've made the first one, it's easier. And then it's a bit of like brute strength. And you just bend it. Now say you really, we've got that one, you've got to go back to the plan and keep doing it. So then you just use the first one as a guide and you just keep it, you know, bent that way. So you've got them all in the same shape. And then obviously, <laughs> which you must remember to do, because I've often done it, and I'm sure other people have done this game of, you now got to build the 90 degree bend that side. So you mark it again, and you just basically keep that straight. I'll explain it in a minute, right? So, and then you obviously do the same again, and you bend it without killing yourself. 90 degrees. Like so, okay. And you obviously keep going unless you're not in the grease. Now, if it's out, it doesn't matter, right? Because you see, and then what you do is, I mean, I've rushed this, so if you need be, you get a pair of pliers and you just bend it, twist it, pair of pliers, and that's to get it straight. But I'm not basically coming out now. So it will come out true like that, okay? Now, this bit is just left out basically because when we go now, go back to the uh, we now go back to, and like I said, with all four of them, you use the first one you've got off the plan and you just copy the rest, all four, the same, okay, and then, uh, it's not difficult really, is it, it's all good science, right? see, so I always say, now don't forget, this is the bit I was chuckling about, two have got to be opposite, the 40, 90 degrees at the top, I've got to be opposite, in like a burk I was, because I was not thinking, I was thinking of, always thinking ahead, I bent it the same way, and so basically I had to redo it and bend it the other way because I'm silly. So that just proves we all make mistakes and I um, definitely did. So you've got your four like that, see? Now when you set these in, make it, do you, the reason I haven't put them in yet is because I'm going to make sure all this is true once I put the cage on, the cradle, the rear of the fuse. Because obviously these don't, these, on some planes, if I do it like that, some planes you have them sitting out that way. All right, but in this particular model, we're going to do it the other way. So they'll be sitting inside like so. Okay? So you've got one that side. And Frey be helping. Oh, oh whatever, I don't know. Right. It's the right way. Yeah. So, with only one hand, this is not easy. Okay. So I've got my assistant there. So you see, you've got it like that. Okay? And obviously you get them to the right height and then you measure them up. And then if need be, once the fuse is all together as a unit, this is when you play with these, you can alter them up and down to make sure they're at the right instance with the uh, wing. You know what I mean? So you've got that. But we'll come to that later. So we leave them now. You've just, you've just basically made these ready for the next stage. So uh, that's more or less it. So you back back on there, put your cling film on. Should be exciting to it. And then um, we start doing the longer one. This, this, this is the easy bit. Right. I'm going to do that next. Okay, so cling film down all the way along. And it's nicely on the, on the thing. Pin it to the mount plan. And that way, at least you've got room then to pin this down and start working from it. Right, so that's that video. I don't know what title it is. Just begin the fuse, I suppose, part one. Okay, right in. Okay, so... This is the next stage of the fuse. Okay, so if we pan over, I'm going to try and do this first. Uh, as you can see, the basic frame's on one side, the longer rhythm's in. The longer rhythms? Sounds like maths. Longer longer arms. All right, and then you've got struts up and poles and shit. So, right, so this is all white PVA'd in. Right, you can, if you're good enough and you can use cyano, then by all means, if you're fast enough. But anyway, so to, uh, put these the longer arms in first, line them up with the pins. So they're all true to there. 
And then it's simple, simplistic, really, I suppose. But you never know. So then you just sort of guide it up to the your, your uprights, and you mark them with the pen there, in line with the fuse. You could either use a if you want to use a jigsaw, for, or use a razor saw of where the line is, and then cut down it. And then PVA them in gives you time to get them in nice and square. And obviously, as you can see, you pin them in so it's all held in place. Now it is a trick. As my friend was just asking me a while back, um, how do you do the other side? Right, mirror version. Right, there is two ways. One way is to do what I showed you before. You can sit there and trace it all out again, okay? Uh, and then use it as a mirror image and do both at one. Or the other way to do it is, is the simplistic way I do it is, because you've got your other sheet there, which you're obviously just using as a guide, okay? Because to make sure it's in the right place. Right, but before you put all that on, here's the trick. You get your cling film and you basically obviously you take all the pins out right because you know it'll be sort of semi stuck to the cling film underneath and you basically put your cling film right across the top again like so and that way you can then pin pin the longer runs exactly on top of the longer runs you've got already glued in place and basically there's your mirror image all right so if you can see that so it's basically just put your cover in on top right away along the length of the fuse and then repeat the process of gluing and stuff, okay? And that's how you do, that's how I do it in a way. All right, so you get a perfect mirror, in, uh, a mirror image of uh, what you've done already. But I might add, because you've got these pieces in there, you need to glue them in afterwards. And so once they're all, use that as your guide, obviously, to get them in there, because these should be exactly the same as they are. And you have to get your sticks in the right place. But obviously then, once it's all nice and dry, you take it all off and then turn it flat and glue it like, like you have done there. Okay. I might add, in case somebody asks, I've looked at the picture with the real plane as much as I can ascertain, and there is no, no uh, inner struts there to like strengthen it. And I looked on the real plane and there's none on there either. So this is how it's actually made on the real thing, which is kind of different, you know. I was gonna put them in, but if it's not on the real plane, then it's not gonna look like the one at the Shuttleworth. So that's the whole key as usual. But what I will do is I always put uh, truss plates in here to strengthen them, you know, just to give it that bit of extra strength. And once the covering's on, you won't see that anyway. Okay, so this is a quick one I'm going to add on to it. They, I don't know you'll see it in this light, but there's the cling film in between them, okay? And there's the bridge. Oh, there's the bridge. Oops. There's the bridge. So you can just check it fits true, like so. See? So it's all in nice. So you've got your two twins on top. And then when that's dry, take it off, turn it round flat, and then glue this bit to it, okay? Okay, so you've got the size. I mean, I've done a lot to it, but I'll talk through it, what I've done. So basically, what I normally do is I will pin the sides like that, either one into the, so you just do it. All right, so they're pinned in, and they're on in, in line with the uh, plan. Okay, so you've got them in line, because there's stages to do, and it was just not on the plan. <clears throat> okay, so you've got them sort of like in line on the front, you've got it lined up. On the plan lovely okay so the next thing to do is once you've got them in you get your set square and you put two set squares if you've got two one either side oh, i'll just nick one now to show you it's easy because this is not on the plan so what i always do with a fuse is that is i put them to either side and then you you measure this is what i call a, a box cage these are on a lot of plans they have them on there but they ain't on this particular one so i've decided to do it so i'm just making a square basically out of scrap bolter to make sure it's all true and you, you white glue it in okay so that it's all right you super glue the bottom one in and then white glue the top one and make sure it's all square like it is okay so that gives you the strengthening bit basically that's there so when you got to bend the rest of the back of the fuse you, you've got some strength there so you've done that bit and once that's dry you then go and you measure the gap between the front here these are your stays the top longer runs or stays I call them you put one in there and you put one there. Okay, again, these are not on the plan, but this is just so that, I mean, you can always cut them out if you don't want them at the end, but they're in there now just to make sure the whole fuse is in a solid position. So when you've got to bend the back of the fuse, you've got uh, strength there to hold it because it'll warp out, see? It'll warp out. You don't want that. Okay, so once you've got that in and that bit's done, you take these out and take that, take it away. And then what you do is, is you measure the gap here between where you're gonna put the, because you've got your uprights there on your back of your cradle, or your fuse, oil rig as some people call it. 
All right, so you got to, you're obviously going to put your pieces in between there, like so. Okay. Now what I do is, so I suppose other people do it differently, but I go along them all, each section, and I measure them on the plan and cut two, so they're exactly the same. Okay. So you've got two A's, two B's, and so forth, two C and D. So that's what's on there. Okay. And then you know then that they're in the right place. So if you put that there, you'll see that's exactly what it's supposed to be on the plan. See? Eight or eight. Okay, so when you come making the, uh, the fuse, because when you glue the fuse, I might add this that. You glue it, I always glue the fuse to the flat end. This is the bottom end. So I put it back on the plan ready, pin it down to square, so it's ready to go. Okay, and when that's all solid, that's when you start playing with these. And that way you can move them in to position, okay, and you can white glue them, PVA them in, or soup glue them in if you think you're quick enough. Okay, and then pin them in and lock them. Okay, do all the bottom first. I want to say all nice and solid, then you do the top. Okay, we'll come to that. So that's, so basically that'll be all pinned in, ready to go now. So the next stage is that. Okay, and then go along them, start from A, B, C, and D, till you get to the end. And that way you form the shape round of the plan, you know, for the fuse. And that's your main, that then, will be, so looking at it now, you see what a rough idea got the main idea of the fuse okay and that's your basic fuse ready to go and then the next video I'll do I'll show you about putting the panels there ready for that and that way and then you get it all nice and true okay but we usually do it upside down is because the top of the fuse is flat obviously the bottom of the fuse runs at an angle so you do it upside down so you know you've got one side true if that makes sense okay so, so the continuation of the last video so you can see I put the crossbars in so that'll be fun. Okay. So I don't know, so I haven't glued the end until we do the bottom ones because it makes sense. <laughs> Trust me, it does. Alright. So there you go. Okay, that's them all glued now. <coughs> Ready to set. All PVA'd in. So we should be alright. We'll just add these together. Okay, cheerio. Bye. Those magnificent men, those magnificent